So I am on Craigslist right now and I have discovered the most terrifying ad I have seen and it is just no, 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 no. We are looking at an ad that has a litter of baby hamsters with their mom in a shoebox filled with chocolate chip cookies. What? I, I don't know, I don't know how people think. I don't, I don't, I don't. So let's talk about it. So hi everyone, way to start the video with this wonderful introduction of shoebox hamsters and cookies, chocolate chip cookies. Free, fancy, long fur hamsters, have six kids and mom available. How is any of this okay? At first it's like the shoebox was bad, but then you see cookies in there. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I do make the call to go and rescue certain ads on Craigslist and sometimes I choose to actually repost them and let others on my rehoming groups and my groups on Facebook know as well as personal friends know that hey these hamsters need somebody can somebody go and get them but because I was really worried about this litter of hamsters I went ahead and inquired about them and even though the post says about 11 hours ago when I saw the post the lister actually replied back within two minutes of my text message and said yes they're still available so I inquired to pick come up. So yes, I am taking in more hamsters, even though I just recently got a hamster uh, and that was a planned one. This one is unexpected, but I don't like what I'm seeing here. I want to drive out to get them. I want to make sure that they are a-okay. There's nothing wrong, especially with young hamsters. You don't want them to be eating chocolate. That is toxic. Oh my goodness. I don't know if they were kept in this shoebox or not. It, it kind of looks like it, doesn't it? I'm gonna step in. This just is too much. So hey, what do you know? Another vlog of you guys joining me and I do need to figure out their housing situation and how young they are. Uh, the person did say in text message that they're two months old so they should by now already be separate but it looks like in these pictures they're not separate so I will probably have to be putting them in separate cages very soon but up to eight weeks old you can house the same genders together so I'm probably going to be doing that because they don't look that old in these photos. Wish me luck guys I am going to go rescue them now so you're coming along with me. Hey guys, so I just came back from picking up the hamsters. I'm not gonna show them in the car now. They're all buried in their bedding. Uh, they're supposed to be two months old and they look like they were just born a couple weeks ago. So that's how severe it is, as well as what she was feeding them. You're going to hate what I have to say. I'll say it later. Um, but right now, I don't know if I can take this situation lightly. The whole conversation I had with the person, even though she was a nice person, it just seemed like these animals were just items to them. I know I like to give people the benefit of the doubt but unfortunately in this type of situation it was not good and unfortunately we just came out of the house and she said she was gonna keep the father when I saw the father in the cage he was very underweight very malnourished and I was just so I, I couldn't believe it I really couldn't um, I wanted to say something I really did but I think there might have been just kind of like this barrier of like not understanding a pet's life versus me trying to explain to her that this is not okay. I did try to, you know, suggest that, hey, you know, better care, but um, she did give me one of the cages because there was apparently two cages and the weirdest part was half the babies were with mother and half the babies were with father. And I said, oh, did you already separate them between sexes? And she said, no. I don't know why the babies were separated. And I said, are they eating solid food? She says, yes, they're eating. And Okay, I guess I will say it to you now. They're eating bread and cookies. Yeah, so the photos that I was looking at online was not what I saw when I went in. They were in the garage. Um, I don't know if she keeps them in her bedroom or not or if they're just mainly in the garage all the time. They have a really nice place. Very nice, very nice and neat. Uh, complimented them about you know how nice their house was but it was just weird walking up and seeing one of them in a 10 gallon tank the other one in a 29 gallon tank and uh, one had a wheel one did not have a wheel so I, I, I don't honestly know what is going on <laughs> I, I just didn't want to stick around it was really hard for me to actually see what was going on but I will show you guys the hamsters when we get home safely it's not a good situation and I'm probably going to have to consult with a few of my YouTube friends out there who've had experience with hamster litters to see what I should do for these hamsters. Uh, just like Victoria Rachel, she recently got an accidental litter because the one she adopted uh, was pregnant apparently. So I'm gonna see if I can talk to her a little bit and just a shout out for her there just because she's such a wonderful YouTuber and I'm just so happy that I am a part 
part of a great community such as the pet community where we can all chime in and help each other out. So I'm probably going to have to contact her. Um, and if you're watching Rachel, hi, I'm going to contact you here in a little bit, just randomly about this litter. <laughs> so I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Hello Munchkins. So I'm back and I want to continue with what I was saying in the car ride home. First, let's start with the father and why I could not rescue him. So you cannot force people to give up their animals if they don't want to. I suggested that I would take him, but she said she wanted to keep him. So I just left it as is. I at least got seven hamsters that I'm taking care of right now. One mother, six babies. <laughs> yes, six baby hamsters, but I am taking care of them. So they're getting the nutrition they need. And I will be adding a lot more protein into their diet besides just having commercial food. Because these guys, they are able to eat and drink on their own. They are not suckling on their mother anymore, but the mother is still with them, which is okay. So for those of you who are out there who don't know about litters and what to do during litters and how to keep hamsters, don't worry. What I'm doing, I've researched before and I also have consulted with Victoria Rachel and she gave me some advice. I just want to also make a note to while I'm talking about the father is that I froze when I saw them because when she said two months old and I saw the size of these hamsters, they were not two months old. And especially since I talked to Victoria Rachel, she also believes they're about three to four weeks old. And so when I questioned the person relinquishing these hamsters to me, she did confirm they're two months when I questioned. So I would think that the hamsters would be in very poor conditions if they were about two months old. But these guys, they have high amounts of energy. They're running around. They are small, but at least they're eating on their own and they are play fighting and they're doing everything that indicates that they're around three weeks old. Because at four weeks, you want to separate the mom, you want to separate the males and females, and you also want to be adding a wheel. And then from five weeks to eight weeks, they will be in their own groups up until eight weeks old when they will be separated and put into their own enclosures. Just because within this amount of time, they're able to get along just fine, but at eight weeks or more, they tend to start fighting. And you can tell the difference between just a innocent squeak and a squeal like you're killing something. That's what the hamsters will sound like if they are going after each other's throats. You will hear violent squeaks from the hamsters. It won't be good. But these guys, Victoria Rachel said, are about three weeks and I do believe that so I believe the whole thing was she was just not telling me the correct information and they were about three weeks old. And right now they are being housed in a small container so they will be upgraded to enclosures soon that will suit their needs. As of right now, using a small bin is completely fine for them so if you see shots of me housing them in a small bin, that is okay for now. And for those people out there that are constantly questioning questioning about temporary tanks and things like that. Like I said in the previous video, if you're rescue, you need temporary situations and that's completely fine. As long as you're providing the hamster with the appropriate amount of care that it needs, it's fine. And I could argue too here that if you uh, disagree with the way I am currently housing them right now, then would you have liked me to have left them with her, the person that was trying to rehome them with their really messed up care and or have her possibly rehome them to somebody who is is not as knowledgeable in hamster welfare and small animal welfare as somebody like me. There could be others out there, but it's becoming a very hard thing to find when it comes to people looking for hamsters to adopt. They're always on the old outdated care, especially since I've been trying to rehome Molly for a long time. And everybody who inquires about her, unfortunately does not want to upgrade for her. And they move on to other available hamsters on Craigslist and take those hamsters without caring much to look into the updated care of hamsters. They just care to house them in 120 square inches, 185 square inches, and the last one was about 260 square inches of floor space for them. And I said, sorry, no, but hey, if you want to, I can talk to you about the appropriate cages and kind of give you some advice. And every time it's like, no thanks, or we moved on, or yeah, we got another hamster, but thank you anyways. So yeah, it's, it's hard, but at least I'm going to keep them in the appropriate care because that's what they need. And people need to understand that I'm not going to be relinquishing these guys to people who are not good suitors, just like for shelters. They're not going to just relinquish an animal to you if you're not allowed to have an animal. But for this litter right here, they're going to be with me up until they're able to be rehomed. And I want to make sure that they are all healthy and okay and thriving and the mother I was told was around four to six months old or is it six to eight months old now actually I think they said six to eight months yeah 
So the mother's supposed to be six to eight months, but she still looks very young, so I'm gonna estimate she's about six months. And she supposedly gave birth to them when she was about three to four months old. And the weirdest part too about this is that when I contacted them, they said that it was an accidental litter, but then she tells me that she had both the male and female in the same enclosure, and the reason why she was rehoming the mother was because she doesn't get along with the male hamster anymore. The reason why they don't get along is because she's trying to protect her babies. And again, I'm gonna go back to the person, just wanna clarify with you guys that this person seemed like there was like no connecting with her about these animals the way that I connect with people who are rehoming and they are passionate and care a lot about the animal. I didn't really feel like they cared. Uh, a whole lot. People don't value pets as well or they value pets as items so they collect them and they trade them and they sell them and from what she told me about she had a really expensive parrot, didn't know the breed of the parrot and then she sold the parrot for a lot of money. Um, it was just the strangest conversation I had with her because it didn't seem like a good thing like the way it was approached and it kind of made me feel like it was all about money and the house that they lived in. Oh my gosh what a beautiful house that was but my god if they were able to afford a house like that, I'm surprised that they're not able to properly care for the hamsters. And she did say she had cats and dogs, but they were all hiding. I could not see them, and I could not even see the parrots either. And unfortunately, she did not give me her name, and it was a very weird interaction where I came to the doorstep, I rang the doorbell, uh, she opens the door, I say, hey, I'm here for the hamsters, so-and-so said uh, to stop on by, and she's like, come. Then I walk in, and I close the door, and she disappeared, and then I I'm just standing there going, oh, I don't know what to do. And then she says, I'm over here. She's right by the cages in the garage. And then it was just, it was a very weird and awkward situation. And when I approached, I tried to approach very happy-like and, you know, friendly, but I just, it's, it was weird. I couldn't talk to her. She didn't seem like she really wanted to talk a lot, um, but at least she did ask me if I have hamsters and I did. And she was like, oh, okay. But again, this person might not be a bad person. It's just the way that people People see animals is not always going to be the same as you or I or anybody else so just saying that so I hope you guys understand um, I know you guys are probably out there a mix of like really angry and furious and then also like oh my gosh I can't believe this happened but these guys are with me now and no more cookies for them mm -mm. no chocolate chip cookies nothing like that they're gonna be getting protein like hard-boiled eggs they're gonna be getting a lot of vegetables and they're going to be getting their commercial diet that's appropriate to them because when I saw the father he did have what looked like bird seed in his cage and since she did say she had parrots I would highly recommend people not be giving their hamsters bird seed even if you do live with birds and hamsters you want to make sure you are supplementing them with the right type of nutrients and I don't exactly know what is in bird seed because it could be a mix of anything and or geared towards parrots and their needs but I was kind of upset by what I saw because there was just bread all throughout the tank. Couldn't find the cookies, but in the photos, you did see cookies there. I'm glad that I have them now, and thank you guys so much for watching this little rescue vlog. I will keep you guys updated on them and tell you more about their progress. And yes, I still have all the other hamsters. Two hamsters right now are going to be rehomed very soon here. They were already pre-approved, so they're going to their homes within the next week, hopefully. And then I will be down to about, let's see, 16 hamsters. Yeah. That's right, you heard me. I currently have in this entire room 18 hamsters. Yay! <laughs> Every hamster owner's dream, except for mine is basically rescuing. I have five personal hamsters, the rest are fosters. So, whew, I have more foster hamsters now than I have my own personal. And maybe that's a personal goal, maybe it isn't, but at least I am giving them a home because I can and I am able to. So thanks guys for everything. If you liked the video, hit like to show your support. Comment down below with anything you would like to say about this rescue that is related to this rescue, please. And subscribe if you are new here and would like to be a part of the Munchkin family. So see you guys later and thanks so much for the support. Oh, and just one more thing too. Uh, because I did take them in, I am probably going to be needing to buy a bunch of supplies. So I will be leaving the Amazon link down below in the description. And if anybody wants to know more about my foster home and see picture updates, I can give you my Instagram link. So thanks guys for everything. And uh, yeah, that's it for right now. <laughs> so have a good day and see you later. Bye-bye.